How can you get a cloud engineer job with no experience? Now, this is a question that I get asked all of the time. It sounds challenging, right? But with the right strategy, learning plan and determination, it's totally possible. Now, I've been working in the cloud for the past seven years, and I work for myself as a freelance cloud engineer, helping businesses design, build, and operate cloud systems on cloud platform like AWS. The truth is that you have to focus on learning the right thing when you start your cloud engineer journey. So when you're interviewing for roles, you can confidently speak about what you focused on and what you've actually learned. Therefore, in today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to get a cloud engineer job with no experience. And I'm going to cover what to focus on, what to learn, what projects to build and how to get your first cloud engineer role and stand out from the crowd. Before we get started, you should check out my weekly cloud newsletter where I'll share free resources, tutorials, boot camps, and so much more to help you make your cloud move. Now, the first step to achieving this goal is by understanding the role of a cloud engineer. Now, how can you become something you do not understand? Cloud engineers are professionals who manage an organization's cloud systems and resources. The role the role of a cloud engineer is very diverse. And one minute you can do infrastructure design, the next you could be doing cloud cost estimation, you can be working on pipelines, you can be building infrastructure with Terraform, or you could be doing some knowledge sharing with your peers. Now, this is not a role where you do the same thing every single day, which makes being a cloud engineer such an incredible role. So once you have a solid understanding of the role, then it's time for step number two, which is getting the basics down. The basics are all about the foundational IT concepts, such as understanding networking, operating systems, virtualization, databases, and how software engineering teams work and develop products. Let's start with networking, as this is the most important concept to get right as a cloud engineer. Now, networking in the cloud is about connecting cloud resources and ensuring communication between them, and also setting up access from the outside world, e.g. the internet. Once you start learning cloud platforms, you will get exposed to these following networking concepts. For example, a virtual private cloud, also known as a VPC, is an isolated network within a cloud platform where you can launch your resources. We also have subnets, which are sections of the VPC dedicated to a specific resource, helping with organization and security. And then we also have load balancing, distributing incoming application traffic across multiple targets such as VMs improves availability. Efficient cloud network design ensures data flows securely and seamlessly. It ensures proper connectivity, access control, and fault tolerance. Now, very shortly, I'm going to give you the secret hack that's going to make you stand out when you're applying for cloud engineer jobs. So stay tuned. Next, we have operating systems. Cloud platforms offer various OS options for virtual machines and other services. Some concepts are images which are pre-configured configured OS templates provided by cloud platforms to quickly launch virtual machines. We also have instance types, which are specific virtual machine configurations tailored to workloads like compute optimized or memory optimized. Cloud engineers need to choose the right OS and configuration for specific tasks, ensuring performance, compatibility, and security. Next up, we have virtualization. The cloud runs on virtualization. It allows multiple virtual instances to run concurrently on a single physical server. Some concepts to think about are containers, which are lightweight virtualization that shares the host operating system, but encapsulates the application and its dependencies. And we also now have serverless, which is growing in popularity, where you or the software engineers only focus on their application code and the cloud provider handles the underlying infrastructure. Understanding virtualization is key to deploying scalable, cost-efficient, and isolated workloads in the cloud. And finally, one of my favorites, we have databases. Now, databases hosted on cloud platforms offer scalability, redundancy, and managed maintenance. There are managed databases like SQL and no SQL databases, which are flexible databases for unstructured data. And databases are central to majority of the applications, if not all. Cloud engineers need to select, configure, and manage databases that meet the application needs and ensures data integrity and availability. Now, if you want to get started with the cloud and become a cloud 
cloud engineer, then you should check out my cloud engineer handbook, where I provide you with a structured way of learning and guiding you to go from zero to cloud engineer hero, covering the fundamentals, the tools, and the cloud engineering technologies to learn and become a cloud engineer through text, diagrams, and short videos. Right now, it's at a 50% discount for pre-order, so move fast before the actual launch price. I'll link it in my description below. So once you have the basics down and understand those core concepts, it's time to get some hands-on practice by learning Git and Bash. And starting with Git. Now, Git is a distributed version control system. It's a tool that tracks changes in files such as the source code for programming projects, allowing multiple people to collaborate on the same project without stepping on each other's toes. Now, cloud engineers often work with teams. Using Git ensures that everyone can make changes without affecting others until those changes are actually ready to be merged. Git also maintains a history of changes, allowing engineers to revert to a previous state if something goes wrong. Now, CICD pipelines often use Git repositories as a starting point, automating the testing and deployment processes, which we'll discuss later in this video. And we have Bash. Now, Bash is a Unix shell, which is a command line interface for interacting with an operating system. It's found in many Linux distributions and Mac OS and even Windows. Bash allows cloud engineers to write scripts that automate many tasks. These scripts can be used to install software, manage files, and interact with cloud services. Now, many cloud platforms offer command line tools like the AWS CLI that can be used in Bash. This allows for powerful and flexible interactions with your cloud services in AWS. Now, both Git and Bash are foundational tools for modern cloud engineers. Git provides the versioning and collaborative capabilities essential for handling code configurations and more. Bash, on the other hand, offers a powerful interface to automate tasks and manage cloud resources and together they equip cloud engineers with a set of skills to operate efficiently and effectively in their cloud environments. Now it's time to dive into a cloud platform and there are three big platforms to choose from. AWS, GCP and Azure. This is a tough decision for many, but don't sit there and spend too much time deciding. I would pick one that you find the most jobs for. And for me, it was AWS as AWS is the most popular cloud platform. Now all platforms offer free tiers or credits, allowing you to get hands-on without incurring any cost. So make sure you take advantage of that. So once you've picked your cloud platform, it's time to focus on learning the key cloud services. And the best way of doing this is by finding Finding out what are the most common services. For AWS, it's EC2, IAM, VPC, RDS, Route 53, Lambda, and probably around five or 10 more. Now, I recommend reading through each service and which section it's in. For example, compute, storage, databases, security, or networking and understand the service and its category. Now, once you've built this level of understanding, you are ready to start preparing for your first cloud certification. And as a cloud engineer beginner, you won't have a real world experience to start with and to accelerate you into a role, you need to build a deeper understanding of the cloud platform first, and you do that by passing a cloud certification. Now, if you picked AWS, then focus on passing the Cloud Practitioner Foundational first and then the Solution Architect Associate. Passing a cloud certification solidifies your understanding of the cloud platform and shows that you understand the core topics of your chosen cloud platform. Plus, it also helps with your CV when you're applying for jobs. Through your certification prep, you'll be exposed to some hands-on labs, which you can utilize to build practical experience. The next step is understanding cloud architects. Now, every project that you work on will have a cloud architecture, and this is irrelevant of the role that you're working in. An architecture shows what you're going to build technically to solve a customer's problem. Imagine it as the blueprint of a house. It outlines how different rooms, i.e. services, are connected and how the overall structure, the cloud solution, should function and look. As a beginner, I'd focus on learning these cloud architecture concepts, high availability, scalability, disaster recovery, and fault tolerance, and be able to explain the 
difference between these and why they are important for any cloud solution. Now, the next step is learning the cloud tools and the cloud tools that you should focus on are Terraform, GitHub Actions, and of course, your chosen cloud platform. These are the most popular cloud tooling to get familiar with and makes you hireable for any business. Terraform allows users to define, provision, and manage cloud infrastructure using declarative configuration language. HCL. One of Terraform's most significant advantages is the ability to work across multiple providers. This means you can use the same tool and similar configurations for AWS, Azure, GCP. With Terraform, infrastructure's code changes are tracked as code, which means that they can be versioned, reviewed, and audited just like application code. Next, we have GitHub Actions, which is a CI CD tool integrated into the GitHub platform. It allows you to automate, customize, and execute your software development workflows right in your GitHub repository. Cloud engineers can set up CI/CD pipelines directly in their GitHub repositories without relying on any external systems. This streamlines the deployment process from code push to cloud deployments in AWS. For a cloud engineer, understanding tools that streamline, automate, and enhance the infrastructure and deployment processes is invaluable. Terraform provides a unified way to manage and deploy your infrastructure across various platforms. And in contrast, GitHub Action offers a seamless CI CD integration right within the ecosystem many developers and engineers already use. Now, learning these cloud tools stops you from spending so much time figuring out what you need to learn and it helps you to focus on the tools that matter and make a difference in your cloud engineering journey. So finally, how can you actually stand out and become a cloud engineer with no experience? And there are three parts to this. Firstly, is by building projects. While reading documentation, watching tutorials, or doing online lectures provides the theoretical knowledge, building projects forces you to apply that knowledge in practical scenarios. It bridges the gap between the theory and the practice. In real world scenarios within your job, not everything goes according to the textbook. Building projects exposes you to the unpredictable issues that can arise and teaches you how to troubleshoot them effectively. When you build projects, you tend to find solutions to problems rather than memorizing steps. This approach is more aligned with real job tasks. Now, using cloud platforms, dashboards, interfaces, and CLIs while working on a project makes you familiar with these tools. You should also focus on building projects that integrate your cloud platform, the most common services, and also the cloud tools, Terraform and GitHub Actions. I've created a video for projects that you can build, and I will link it below in this video description. Secondly, to stand out, you also need to learn to code. And I know that's not something you wanted to hear. Cloud engineering at its heart revolves around automation, scaling, and managing cloud infrastructure. While it's possible to work in a cloud engineer role with minimal coding knowledge, especially with the user-friendly interfaces provided by the cloud platforms, learning to code offers you a complete distinctive competitive advantage. As we discussed earlier, modern cloud practices involves defining and managing infrastructure using tools such as Terraform. As a cloud engineer, you could use the cloud console to build your infrastructure, but this is bad practice. Another reason to learn to code is if you understand both the infrastructure and the code running in the infrastructure, this makes you super hireable. Not to mention being able to understand and communicate with software development teams leads to a more effective collaboration, reducing any inefficiencies or any misunderstandings. Programming languages that you should learn is either Python or TypeScript. Finally, to stand out, you need to be proactive by applying for as many jobs as possible, but also following up with the jobs you apply for to stand out and see eager to learn more. Most people apply and that's where they stop. For a beginner breaking into the industry, you need to show more enthusiasm and take things a few steps further. By following up with recruiters and hiring managers will help you stand out and build more reports. You may not get the job this time around, but the next time that they are hiring, they will remember your name. You should also consider roles that might not directly be cloud engineer, but can serve as a stepping stone, like cloud support or junior DevOps engineer. That was a complete guide on how to become a cloud cloud engineer with no experience. Don't forget, learning the cloud is a journey and you cannot do this overnight. But if you follow everything that I mentioned in this video, then I'm sure you will become a cloud engineer in no time. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.